so the thing that got me into torrenting um, and it originally was this website called horriblesites.info but unfortunately the website is closed down um, now um, but um, since they've closed down there have been other groups or perhaps even the same groups that um, called subs please which is kind of I guess paying homage to the whole the old website but this is kind of I mean it's a slightly different layout but it's very similar it's very similar to the original horrible subs website but I discovered that um, there's this website obviously I'm sure a lot of people know about it called web archive and if you just go ahead and hit type the website in here there's an enormous number of uh, of uh, what, what do they call them snapshots or whatever of the website on this on here so you can always if you come to one of these blue ones you can see hopefully if you just it's a little bit slow so this is one of the, the latest website uh, this is when they started to close down and it was just this they kind of reduced the whole website to this little note note here uh, explaining why they've closed down and stuff it's just it wasn't going to last forever so but if you kind of scroll back in time a little bit to when the the, the website was actually working properly uh, fully functional it takes a bit of time for web archive for some reason it's, it's, maybe their servers are a little bit slow but this is where this this looks like uh, uh, and it, this shows a good example of the website up and running as it normally as normal as far as I can see this is what how I remember I had this really colorful uh, title here which is really nice horrible subs um, but the thing that I really missed about this website um, was the fact that it was because of this website that introduced me to the idea of IRC and uh, this XDCC which is an alternative to torrenting for downloading uh, files and music and stuff like that um, so for ages I kind of looked at this and I didn't know what it was I mean even I barely even knew what torrenting was at this stage which is what this main stuff here is but if you go to this bit here, which I almost didn't miss for so many, so long I missed it, this IRC section, I didn't even know what this was. And then you go to the guide, and I saw this ages ago, and but for ages, and I didn't know what it was. And I really, when the website closed down, I really regret not having that guide anymore. But luckily, because of uh, uh, this Wayback Machine, I've managed to find this guide again. And this guide is, I'm so grateful for this guide because they introduced me to IRC, which is a kind of, uh, I, call it, I call it like a sub-internet. And it's kind of like really private kind of internet um, kind of social networking system thing um, I still don't quite know what it was what it is but it's a kind of uh, underground internet thing where people can freely share uh, their videos and, and music and, and whatever you want um, so the thing is is that this uh, guide isn't actually uh, it's not actual text it's just like a JPEG and so you can just drag and drop it onto your desktop. Yeah, that didn't work, so uh, I should probably go back. Let's, let's go back. 
we can drag and drop this. And yes, there it is. It's kind of and open that up on your desktop. So I recommend saving it to your desktop. If you're interested in looking into IRCing, this is kind of a really good beginner's guide. And you kind of just try to follow these instructions here. Now it's set up for a Windows uh, for Windows PCs. And I did that originally on a Windows PC. But you can, as far as I know, I think I managed to set it up on a Mac as well. You might have to change the, uh, they use this hex chat thing. I think you can use hex chat on a Mac as well. The thing is, it was such a long time ago that I did it now, a couple of, few years ago now. I forget how to do it, but if you follow this guide on either system, and I, I serious, it's, it's just opens up your perspective, I think, to how the internet works and acquiring uh, content as well for for immersing in. So yeah, uh, follow the subs, look it up on the Wayback Machine on i on i the archive.com archive.org and check it out. It's very good. And if if you're looking at uh, an alternative to horrible subs, uh, subs please is one of the alternatives. I think there are actually other groups out there. There's a whole load of uh, sub fan sub groups out there, but subs please is kind of meant as a kind of alternative to. Um, as an alternative to, to horrible subs. So yeah, check them out guys, very cool.